Hello everybody, welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today I would like to respond to a query from one of the subscribers of the channel, which uh, is about how to modulate AU parameters of Bliss Vox. And I'm going to show you how to do that using MI rack inside AUM. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay. So we are inside the UM, we click on the plus sign, and we create an audio channel. Let's use as an audio source PIPA. It doesn't have to be PIPA, but um, I thought just to use it for uh, uh, the purposes of the tutorial. Then as an insert effects, we scroll down and we search for Vox so that we retrieve Bliss Vox. Okay, perfect. Next, we create a MIDI channel. And we are going to click on the node here on plus and we're going to search for polybad. It doesn't have to be polybad, you can choose something else, but I just want to have something connected to PIPA to drive uh, notes and therefore produce some of the vocal. We open polybad and we just ensure that uh, we um, have the same uh, note in terms of pitch, E3 for all the D for notes produced for the four steps. Change the rate to a quarter so that it is not too fast. And and it will sound like so. Okay, probably a little bit boring, but anyway, it's just to prove the point. So we go inside box and we choose a preset that we like. And we ensure that in this case, we're going to, mani to modulate the pitch parameter as a start. And um, we ensure that the transposer option is active. Okay, like this one. So let's close that. We double click underneath polybad, we create a new node, we click on the plus sign over there, and we scroll down and we search now for MI Rack. And we choose the MIDI effect. Now we open MI Rack, we maximize it. Now we click on the plus sign, and we're going to choose an LFO and we click add patch or double click. And uh, we're going to use the LFO as an example to modulate the pitch, but you can use other controls, other racks available in MIDI, uh, sorry, in MI rack uh, MIDI effects. And, and again, this is just an example. You don't have to use MI rack, you can use also something else. We click on the plus sign again, we go to audio, MIDI, and sync, and we choose MIDI CC output and we add it to the patch because. Uh, um, uh, we are going to use a specific CC uh, message uh, to actually modulate that pitch. So we connect the output here of the triangle wave to the first output here, and we choose also slow here so that uh, it will not change too rapidly. Next, we are going to configure the CC message because the moment it is set to zero, so we click configure that, we click here, and then we say, go to 110, that is the one which we will use. And then we click on configure to exit that. Okay, so we close this. Next, we need to connect the two. We need to connect MI rack to Vox. So we go up here on the, the hamburger menu, we choose a MIDI control, and we choose here as a MIDI source MI rack, like so. We go back one step, we choose under the channels here, the channel number one, PIPA. And then we select Bliss Vox, and then we scroll down until we find the pitch, which is the parameter that we want to uh, modulate. There it is. Click on it. We activate it here with the arrow on channel one, CC message, yes, and then we'll click where it says zero here. And then we change these to 110, click set, um, yeah, and that is 110. Perfect. Now, so let's open up and you can see that the pitch is already changing. Okay. Based on the frequency that is set uh, on uh, the LFO inside the MI rack. Of course, you can open these and you can move it across. You can see it here on the left hand side as well, the pitch changing. And you can act, for example, on the offset here, like so, so that um, is more balanced, uh, something like so. There you are. And now let's click play. And there you have it. This is a, a simple example of how you can uh, modulate a U exposed parameters from inside Bliss Vox. Remember, 
these are the parameters that you can modulate there are several and you have the scale the key the correction speed the vibrato attacking speed then an amount uh, um, pitch shift in mode if you want to change that you can change the format as well maybe together to the pitch fine tuning if you want flatten note uh, stereo unison as well the detuning which might be nice in terms of modulation and of course you can uh, um, also change the dry wet balance and the output gain of course you can also enable on a, on and off the real time option okay i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always see you next time bye